and that's what you can't do in an electric car. Uh, so we're back at Rada to get the wheel fixed on the RS3. The wheel is absolutely destroyed. It's a long story. If you want to know about it, patreon.com forward slash evil GT. Links in the description. Go and have a look. If anybody's in the Manchester area for wheel refurbishing, go and check Rada International out. Either mention us and you'll get a 10% discount or Evil GT10. Link is in the description. The RS4 Avant track car. There's a bit of progress with that car now, isn't there? So there it is, the RS4 Avant track car, still looking quite sorry for itself, but... When we bought this car, obviously we knew it had been in an accident, a couple of times at least, but what we didn't know is whether the mileage was correct, and thanks to Car Vertical, we found out that it's up and down. So it starts off normal, goes up like it normally would on any car, and then it has a spike, but then comes back down again, and then plateaus, and then up, and then down again. So obviously there's a big problem with the mileage. So what you should be doing when you buy any car is checking to see if the mileage is right, whether it's stolen, whether there's any HPI finance left on it, whether it's been in an accident. It even tells you the history, whether it's had maintenance, whether it's failed in inspection, whether it's been exported, which this one records found. And because this one has actually been in two separate accidents, it records the damage and even in some instances it will give you photos of what's actually happened to the car. This cross references loads of databases all over the world. It even gives you the specs and equipment when it came out of the factory. You can purchase your very own car vertical report using our special link in the description below. In the meantime, we're going to get back getting this car fixed up. We did the Forge oil cooler not so long ago. We took the genuine wheels off the saloon that we've got, the RS4 saloon, put them on this, put some brand new Accelera tyres on it. There's the bucket seats that took three days to install. We've got the sill to go back on that side, on that side too. We've got the replacement door mirrors to go on. And there's just a couple of other things that need doing, little things like putting the side repeater in, putting that back on the door handle. The bonnet and the wing have obviously been fixed and now they fit perfect. So these are refurbished calipers, brand new discs, and most importantly, we can get the bumper back on. I've got some massive news about the M3, which is sat right there, and there's a reason it's here, and there's a reason I've not done anything on it recently, but look at that. Look at how low that is now. So can't I even get that finger in there. That is 100% gonna rub. Check out the next video, it's massive news. Just need some harnesses for the bucket seats, and uh, we'll find some fixings in the back. It should fix in somewhere. We can't get a steering wheel for it because nobody does a steering wheel boss to actually put a racing wheel on that, which is a shame. We've still got a little bit of work left with all this because obviously it's not connected to anything. Bit floppy. So hopefully a few cable ties. A track car without cable ties isn't a track car, is it? We have actually just bought a B7A4 headlight for here. Supposedly it's gonna fit. So this is off an A4 cab, but I was talking to Troop. Troop's gonna be making us a proper custom um, intake so that the actual intake will come straight out of here, straight out the headlight, so that it'll come straight through that bit there. Right, okay. yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah? But for now, because we haven't got that yet, it's 3D printing it and tweaking it and stuff. For now, we're just gonna put this. That'll do for now, won't it? Oh, mate. Oh, mate. You're dying. Oh, mate. See, that's how hard I am, I didn't even know. Is that coming from this? Yeah. I think something's caught on the fan.
yeah, looking like an actual car now. Look at that. Looks like a track car. The only thing is, it needs a wash. will not do that on any other car, would you? Definitely not. And we keep forgetting about the mirror, which is over here. Hopefully that'll go on okay. It's a bit messed up. That's the wrong side. It's this side. But yeah, it's smashed up. We can fix that, yeah? Well. Let's see. I can't believe we paid 185, 190 pounds for these two crappy mirrors. Hey, I'll tell you what, if anyone can 3D print these, I reckon oh. you'd, you'd be able to knock them out for good money. Ben has actually done something this morning. He's cleaned all this up probably as stripped out as we're going to get it. We do need another battery because that is completely knackered. But Danny at Wigan Vag Parts should be able to get us, because um, he had a B7 in, so we see if he's still got the battery off that. And see if he's got a side repeater, because we can't seem to find that either. These, by the way, were the TRS. The cheapest ones Demon Tweaks do, because we didn't want to spend any more on the car than we've already done, because it stands as an absolute fortune now. So it's a four point, normal belt buckle clip, not that stupid quick release one that takes ages to put on. And these were £108 each side. That's the near side sill back on. A little bit awkward and it doesn't really fit flush in there. Just won't go into that point for some reason. But it is a track car, it doesn't really matter. It's probably going to get a few knocks and bangs and stuff. So I'd be surprised if it actually stays on to be honest. There's a little grub screw in the coilover. Take that out and then wind it down how I don't know how many winds it's gonna take so I'm just gonna to have to do a few put the wheel back on see how, see how it looks I've dropped it a lot whoa right whoa whoa yeah, I know yeah I know let's stay serious right because we stop dicking about um, stop swearing all right dicking about it's not swearing so I've dropped it a lot I feel like I've dropped it Probably too much. Right. Have you done both sides? No. You've only done one side. Yeah. So it's going to be on. It's going to be on. The it's going to be on the. Yeah. Okay. That looks exactly the same. That doesn't look exactly Stop the same. Stop swearing. Yeah, but <laughs> that's well lower. So have you stiffened it up as well? I can do that in a minute. You're going to do a proper job of it. Now. I know you're going to have me taking a out and you're going to edit this out. Stop winding me up. Saying this side's higher than that. Well, that it, it's not. Sorry, but that there definitely looks higher. Well, it does now, because I'm a jack. You're a very, very angry man. So we've so-called put it on number five, which is supposedly we the stiffest. So. Well, what's weird, there's five numbers on the actual dial, but then it turns about ten times, so we've yeah, no idea what's it's what. Weird. Yeah. Anyway, we put it on five. We're not going to change the, the top one, which is the bump, is it? Rebound, Rebound, it says, yeah. Okay, so we're not going to bother with that. See how it drives. This now, moment of truth, That is perfect. As always, true Evil GT style has gone wrong. We've not been able to fix the mirrors because we're waiting on some little screws that we can't get. Obviously, that's still missing. The main thing is for me is we can't get this done today because it needs ramp uh, time and uh, awesome are too busy to do it today. But it's not looking too bad. The front is probably, if anything, a little bit too low, really. But we'll soon find out when we get it on the racetrack. We can always, you know, dial it back up. Well, this is the first time we'll have gone out in this car and we're going to see what it's like. I had a little blip down. Ah! Hey, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be sweet on track, this. <laughs> ah! Watch the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> the back end come out then. Oh, Mark's gonna b us now. Look at this. <laughs> the brakes is definitely a problem with the brakes. I think they need bleeding. They need some. They were. That is going to be absolutely amazing on track. Do you know what's funny? We were chatting before, weren't we? Saying, "Oh, we'll do it. We'll take it on track. It'll probably be all right." And then off and sell it but that is such a laugh that <laughs> it's gonna be amazing yeah so there's still a few more bits that we need to do I still need to screw the door cards on properly the screws are in the tub over there but that's a two-second job I've taken the glove box out that you might be able to see there because this seat is fixed and you are quite close so in order to give you a bit more leg room I've taken that out we don't need it anyway so there's a CD changer and a glove box there if anybody wants it the belts are in 
the harnesses, I should say. So they're all in. I think that's pretty much it, isn't it? I think we're all, all almost ready to go. And there is just one little thing that we've just remembered that we haven't done. So we do still need to get the intake pipe. We need to do the same as the saloon and get a little intake hose coming down there. And the arch lining as well, we need to do that. So as always, we haven't finished it, but it's a video. Yeah. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye bye. Subscribe. Please subscribe. Yep. Patreon.com forward slash evil GT. Cheers. See you in a bit. Back at Rada, yeah? And there you go. There's the wheel done. Just the same as that one now. Like factory, eh? Well, it doesn't look the same purely because that is dirty and that is yeah. spotlessly clean. But sat in black. Yeah. That's all you really need, isn't it? Back to brand new. Job done. So thank you very much to Rada. Yeah. International. Thank you very much for that, Ryan. Very much appreciated.